Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Andrew G, and welcome to episode 9 of The Public Affair. Um, Again, thank you all so much for your support, everything that you guys do to help make this podcast grow. It really means a lot to me. Um, Of course, big shout out to Rogue Media Network, Mike Hamilton, uh, for producing the show. Without you, Mike, the show wouldn't be what it is today because you're like the mastermind of editing. He's great. Love him so much. Um, So thank you again. Um, Before we get started with my special guest, who I'm excited to announce, I want to give a shout out to quite a few of our sponsors. Again, thank you to everybody who reached out for sponsorship you guys are amazing let's start off with francisco and sons my boy israel salazar um, is the mastermind behind that company um, they're a local welding company uh, they specialize in carports metal buildings fences and more so if you guys are in need of any type of those things make sure you guys call francisco and sons on the number on the screens and tell them that andrew g sent you of course i also want to give a big shout out to midway nutrition my boy marcos colero is the um, person who reached out to me for that they're located on hewitt drive and they have meal replacement shakes uh, so if you guys are looking for something a little bit more healthier in your diet definitely hit up midway nutrition my favorite flavor of course is the honey nut cheerios and they got different kinds of flavors too so you don't have to stick to just the same type of thing all the time um big shout out also to their sister company waco nutrition and energy on spate uh they just opened up not too long ago and so make sure you guys check them out if you're in the waco area as well um Cool Dream Services, they're Cool Dreams Waco on Facebook. Uh, Ashley and David Sanchez are the people who reached out to me for that. Thank you guys again so much. Uh, they're a local heating and AC company. They also specialize in spray foam insulation. So make sure you guys hit them up because it's only 112 degrees in the summertime and you guys are going to need your AC fixed and all that. So Cool Dream Services is the way to go. Thank you guys for reaching out. Uh, Cedar Sphere, digital marketing company, my boy Ziad Halabi. Um, if you guys are um, a growing business and you guys need some digital marketing done, definitely hit up Cedar Sphere. Sphere. They are the people to go to. Um, they'll make sure that your business stands out on the internet and everything, and Zihad will take care of you. So call them for all your digital marketing needs, and thank you so much for sponsoring the Public Affairs, Zihad. Um, I can't forget Fat Boy Micheladas and Potanas and Serranos Carnita. Oh my god, I was just looking at their post earlier. Oh, um, they have like mango habanero flavor now for their um, carne seca. I, I gotta try it. I forgot to order it. But anyway, um, they work together to bring you the best micheladas, uh, botana, and carne seca that you'll ever put in your mouth ever. It's delicious. Uh, they are locally operated, so make sure you guys call them for parties, get-togethers, etc. And as they say, get the best, not the rest, darling. <laughs> I also want to give a big shout-out to Arjan Painting or Arjon Painting, si habla español. My boy Juan Arjon is the person behind that. Uh, they're a local family-owned painting company that specializes in residential homes, both interior and exterior. Best quality guaranteed, and they'll give you a pretty badass warranty so make sure you guys call our john painting and thank you guys for um sponsoring the public affair uh sni landscaping luis valenzuela is the person that reached out to me thank you again for sponsoring uh they are a local landscaping company um specializes in lawn care tree trimming tree removal concrete work and so much more they also wanted me to let you guys know that they are selling trees and flowers at our local flea market uh gate number 132 so make sure you guys go check out sni landscaping and um big shout out to one of my new sponsors texas contractor um, insurance uh, my girl nancy Pulsini is the person behind that uh, they specialize in insurance for uh, like local businesses people that have carpentry businesses uh, landscaping plumbing handymans etc so if you guys are um, a business owner for those sorts of things and more uh, make sure you guys hit up nancy Pulsini for your insurance needs thank you everybody for sponsoring the public affair more to come later now I am excited to announce my next guest. Uh, Me and this guy have been talking when the beginning stages of the public affair were starting. Um, Real cool guy. I got to know him over the phone, over social media. I want everybody to give um, a warm welcome to my guest for episode nine, Antonio Castillo, or Antonio Noni Castillo, right? (laughs) Yes, sir. What's up? How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing so good. First of all, I have to thank you for coming on to the public affair. Um, I had a fighter last week. And I thought these next two episodes could be kick-ass episodes because I had the one serious episode. So I was like, we got to, you know, <laughs> liven yes, it up. You know what I mean? So um, if for everybody who doesn't know, Noni was a professional boxer uh, here in, from here in town. Yes, sir. And we'll get into that more. I got to watch some of your highlights. Fucking badass. I'm scared of him, too. Like, he, he came in, first of all, short. Like, the last <laughs> the last few guests that I've had have been so short. Like, and I just imagine you guys being so much taller. He was, like, 5'6". I feel all gargantuan. You know, I'm, like, really skinny and buff, too. So, yeah, like, anyway. So, uh, he came in and very soft-spoken again, just like my last guest. So, I don't know. But you said that all bets were on. 
and then I can talk about anything, and I can make whatever joke I want. So don't be kicking yeah, my ass nah, after this, you okay? Got it, you got it. And, and uh, your wife, Precious, shout out to her. She looks like she can kick some ass too. Oh yeah. Yeah. So she looks like she used to get in fights in school, and I don't want to do all that. That's the champion in the family. Oh, is it really? Yeah, that's the champion. <laughs> Did she pay you to say that? Or <laughs> nah, nah. No, okay. Or you really mean it? <laughs> okay. I really mean it. <laughs> well, all right. Well, um, again, uh, do you want me to call you Noni during the show or Antonio? Uh, whichever you prefer. I like Noni. Because it, it sounds like sophisticated, but it sounds okay. like something else, too. <laughs> no, so anyway, okay, so you guys know I wine and dine my guests for the amenity of their choice because this is a um, independently funded podcast, you know? Okay, but thanks for the sponsor. Um, so I'm so happy that you chose some alcohol this time, right? <laughs> so Noni um, asked me for a bottle of Ducerono. Is this, this is correct, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I wanted to make sure because we were spelling it wrong. Um, you know, I had <laughs> Ercutis on episode three. He asked me to bring my favorite mixed drink, and my friend Jennifer, Jennifer Rimlinger, she actually makes this really great drink involving DiSerono, Sprite, and cherry juice. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's super freaking delicious. So if that's not, how do you drink this or what? Um, I drink it straight. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, my, <laughs> my brother-in-law introduced it to me, and okay. uh, ever since then, it's just... So, I just like it. So did you want some Disarono so you could take the edge off during the show? Uh, yeah. I yeah? Mean, okay. Yeah. Well, can we take a shot before we get started? Let's go. No, and let me tell you something. Just for the record, I have not drank anything alcohol-wise all day today because I didn't want to be sweating, flop sweating, nothing. <laughs> I'm doing really good. I drank some water. That's it. I'm going to pour you up the first shot. All right. You tell me when. Uh, oh, he wants yeah, more. I, he, yeah. no, no, uh, you sure? Uh, just yeah, a, just a tad more. more. Yeah, it's yeah. the public affair, darling. Right. There's no rules. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pour me just a little bitty drink, too. Okay. Because right. I Again, one, listen, one shot of this and that's it. I'm done. All right, okay, I'm gonna be cool. a puddle and a hat at the end. Let's cheers to you coming on to the public affair. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jesus Christ, that's good. I've never had it straight like that. The only thing I've ever had straight are my men. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Noni, why don't you um, why don't you explain to us to, for the people who don't know you who you are? Um, I will say part of the reason why I invited Noni was because I did have a lot of people say, you know, we knew this um, professional boxer. He's really cool. You should really get him on before this whole podcast started. Now he's on episode nine. So you you were referred to me by quite a bit of people, and I will say some people are very excited that you're on. Because I, I told some people in confidence, you know, we're not supposed to say anything to keep it between us. So uh, why don't you explain to us who you are, uh, where you're from, where you grew up and all that. Uh, my name's Antonio. Uh, everybody calls me Noni. Uh, I guess that was my nickname since I was a baby. Oh, okay. And uh, I married my high school sweetheart. Uh, we've been together going on 13 years. Wow. Married, finna be seven. Um, I got three kids, uh, a boy and two girls. Okay. <clears throat> and, I mean, I'm just here to inspire and leave a footprint okay yeah i, I you know and, and that's so great and that's what i what was one of the interesting things that i saw about you because i saw your highlights and you were definitely whooping some ass which is not inspiring <laughs> you know what i mean but uh, you told me about what you were working on now and you know i wanted to talk about your boxing career and all that so i think that's pretty interesting um again big shout out to precious she just graduated from uh, Charles. Tarleton, yeah. Okay, and for, that was in social work, correct? Yes, sir. So big shout-out to her. Does she have any plans going back uh, to school? Yeah, or? she's uh, actually going back next week for a master's. Oh, shit. Yeah, so Y'all she, in school, okay? Yeah, <laughs> she, she, uh, she's a big part of my encouragement, you know, oh, throughout really? the day. Yeah, she's the reason why I went back to school. Wow, and, you know, okay. P- picked up. So you would say that she's a driving force in your success? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. wow. And Okay, so that's pretty cool. So what was your life like growing up? I got, you, did you say you're here from Waco? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was okay. born, born and raised, raised in Waco. I can hear it in the voice. You guys have this voice. I'm from the <laughs> York. So you're, oh, okay. You're like, yeah, I'm from the cow, man. You know what I mean? I guess. <laughs> okay. yeah. So you're from Waco. Uh, what was life for you growing up? Um, I mean, I grew up with a uh, with my mom. She was a single uh, mother. Okay. Um, we ha- I had three sisters. Uh, two of them were older than me, and then I had a younger sister. Uh-huh. We, we had a stepdad, but he was more of a best friend. You know? Okay. I mean, he he gave me advice, but I mean everything else I learned from uh, my uncles or other positive role models. Yeah. You know? And. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to I wanted to do karate at first, and then um, my mom was like, no, nah, no, nah, not yet, not yet. And then uh-huh. um, I finally got into eighth grade, and uh, I don't know if, if you know Alexis. Alexis. What's Rosas. There? I might have met him last night. Yeah, I mean. Uh, oh, wait, Alexis Rojas. Yes, I yeah. do know Alexis Rojas. Uh, yeah. uh, he, was, he was a fighter, right? He was a right? boxer, yeah. Okay, yes. I know of him. We talked on social media. I don't yeah. know where he's at. Where you been? Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was yeah. my boy, man. And, okay. uh in eighth grade, he used to talk about boxing all the time. And I was like, yeah, man, I want to do it. I want to do it. Yeah. And uh, I would ask my mom. She was like, no, nah, I'm not paying for that. I'm not paying okay. for that shit. That's not. I was like, man, all right. <laughs> this is my and dreams, I, mom. <laughs> and I, uh, you know, I asked my stepdad. And he was like, nah, I just don't want you to get to where you feel like you can beat me up. I was like, man, that's oh, not on my oh, mind, man. Okay. 
And uh, I was like, man, I was determined because, you know, Alexis would talk about it a lot in school. And right. I was like, man, I want to try it. Yeah. And uh, I met a dude named Frank, uh, Frankie, and uh, he's a... Uh, he he was brother to my my sister's baby daddy. Okay, oh, okay. I'm so, doing I'm doing the math. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> and uh, he was like, man, uh, if you want a box, you you come over here and do some work for me, and, yeah. and I'll pay for it. And it was like forty five dollars just to register, you know, to fight all year. So I was like, all right, cool. Uh -huh. We didn't have to pay a gym fee or nothing, you know. Wow. So I was like, all right, cool. I'll do that. You know, I started doing a little bit of work, and he was helping me out. And then um, after like two or three years, he went to uh to the air force and he was like well i mean i can't do nothing no more you know right. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here and i, I was like man I, I need to do something you know because okay. uh, I, I i really did love boxing i mean i did a lot of sports yeah and i just felt like boxing was the one for me that was your thing and um i was like man i gotta do something and registration came up and um man a, a good friend of mine man his uh ryan carl matter of fact he's fighting on pay-per-view he's coming Ooh. up fighting on pay-per-view for the wba belt shout is out that, to ryan is that carl. still a thing pay-per-view yeah i don't know i'm just saying <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't know. Baby, that, well, shout out to him. That's pretty cool. And uh, his uh, his dad, Daryl, was like, "Man, you too good of a boxer for you not to box." So he yeah. paid for it, and and that just really like, okay, somebody sees something in me, right? So that made me just, I guess, just push hard, you know. Yeah, and, definitely. Um, you know, but in the beginning stages of boxing, you know, when I first started, you know, amateurs, it we barely had two or three fights a year, right? And uh, over time, you know, I was like, you know, it's time, it's time for me to move forward, you yeah, know, and. Definitely. Uh, finally, uh, we, I mean, we had uh, a coach Hyman, you know, our coach Hyman, and he did what he could with us, and you know, but everybody has, you know, situations coming yeah. on in their life, you know, and he was doing that uh, basically for free, you know. Gotcha. And um, so he had to step away, and then um, Tony Montoya came in with uh with uh John Garcia, okay. uh, and uh, they, I feel like I know of Tony Montoya. Yeah, we might be friends on Facebook. <laughs> he uh he helped he helped me out a lot, man. And, yeah. We just we just started climbing. That's you know. pretty. That's pretty lit, man. So you grew. It sounds like you grew up in a house with mainly females, and then you didn't turn out gay. Like, <laughs> good job, mom. Well, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, my sisters my sisters were rough, man. It was. Oh, uh, shit. We, we fought like boys, man. Just, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Or any of them? Like, nah, nah, nah. Okay. <laughs> they just, you know, they was just like, you know, hey, we ain't gonna take your shit. No, you know? yeah, okay, and, yeah. Uh, my mom, I mean, she was rough on me. You know, right. somebody hit me and I didn't hit back. You gonna get your ass when you get home. Really? So, yeah. So I'm like, oh my oh, okay. God. You you know what's so funny that you were talking about the boxing. So uh, me and my twin got held back in seventh grade. Uh, we had to go to summer school, and you know we had passed. But anyway, my mom, somebody bought us boxing gloves, and I was never into fucking boxing. <laughs> okay, my, you know, I, I like when I was a kid, like I wasn't really into like playing outside and yeah. shit. You know, the tag. Like so, she bought us boxing gloves, and she was like, "I just want to let you guys know that now that you're spending the summer in summer school, um, I was gonna put you in boxing camp." And I was like, "Oh great, summer school sounds so <laughs> much better." We watched like Harry Potter and shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That, I just I had to throw that in there. So shout out to you, mom, that I didn't miss <laughs> boxing camp that one fucking bit. And then somebody bought me a skateboard. I think they were trying to like you know yeah try and man me up a little bit but it was too late yeah. <laughs> was like, we were in eighth grade changing in front of boys so i don't know what to say <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so okay so you're uh, you said that your sisters and your mom that i guess they were pretty rough um you know w did you have like a hard life growing up without your dad or um i mean i mean my mom was she did the best she could you know okay. uh, shout to, out to mom to to you know fill in that role of, of yeah. a father i mean like i said my stepdad was like more of a best friend right um, it, it wasn't rough, man. It, okay. Um, I seen a lot of rough around me, you know. Right. Um, my mom did what she could, like I said. Uh, yeah. For a single parent, you know, uh, it can't be easy. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah. She she did what she could. We made sure we had a roof over our head, you know, Got food you. in the refrigerator, uh, you know, a bed to sleep on. That's all you need, right? But you know, we didn't we didn't get what you know I I seen other kids growing up getting, you know. Okay. Especially without my dad, I didn't. I didn't get to learn how to barbecue. I had to teach myself that. You Can know? you teach me? <laughs> yeah, because I don't know how to either. Um, <laughs> I, sports wise, man, I just you know I went to my uncles. You know, my uncles they like football. You know, right. and one of my uncles, uh, he liked boxing. You know, um, okay. My other uncle showed me fishing. You know, it was uh, you know it was a, it was a lot of positive role male. Uh, you had you had different males yeah, in male your role life models in my life outside that, of your yeah. dad. Okay, so well you know you know for you to I, I guess a lot of people really like they take that and internalize it for the rest of their life and it seems. From what I see on Facebook, I mean, you and your family seem very well driven, uh, pushing each other to succeed, and it doesn't seem like if it did affect you, it's not affecting you now. Yeah, like you, you, you have a family to worry about, and I'm sure it drives you to want to be there for your kids even more. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, 
it doesn't affect me or bother me anymore. You know, right. I, I had a serious talk with my dad, and you know, I told him, man, I, I love you. You know, I right. can't, I can't hold you for who you used to be because okay. that's who you used to be. Right. And you wasn't a man enough. You wasn't a man yet. You know, and and now I see that you've grown into a man because you, okay. you're taking care of my little brother and my other little sister. Right. So it's, you know, so it's I mean, a I, yeah, I, I can't be mad at you from what you did, you know, but I understand and I right. move forward. And I know ma- I make sure I'm not like you. Well, um, Noni, before we get into more um, of your career and all that, I do want to take a minute to recognize another one of my sponsors, uh, Little Angels Waco. Jose and Rochelle Villa are the people that reached out to me for that. Um, thank you guys for sponsoring. You guys are the best. Love Jose. Love Rochelle. Um, they have um, bounce houses, water slides, um, and they also have jelly blasters. Now, the jelly blasters are cool. I just saw that they were promoting that. Uh, me and, and Jose spoke about that. Um, so gel blasters are kind of like paintballs, paintball guns, but um, they are water-based. So it's less of a mess, um, lower impact, so it doesn't hurt as much, and they have unlimited ammo for you. And then I saw a video that they do for the gel blasters. They set up like a whole arena so you and your friends and whoever can go um, have a gel blaster, whatever. So um, big shout-out to the Little Angels Waco. Make sure you guys hit them up for your next event for your kids or even just for you, and then invite me. Um, remember, bounce houses, water slides, and gel blasters. Those are new, so don't miss out. All right, so um, no need. Let's go ahead and um, talk, I want to talk a little bit more about your boxing. So um, from what I understand, you were a professional boxer. Um, how long did you do that and why did you stop? I did it for, I think, about 15 years. Yeah. Um, I loved 15 it. Years? Yeah, I loved every moment of it. I didn't like the, the training part, but, okay. but but then in the ring, you know, yeah. getting to do what you know you can do real good and people are watching you. Yeah. Uh, I, I missed that. Um, Did you get in a lot of fights in school? Uh, nah. Um, okay. I, I mean, in high school, I got in one fight. And uh, okay. I guess that I was not a fighter in high school. <laughs> I knew, well, I t- and I t- I think I've said this like in every episode so far. I get my ass whooped. I, I'll bark <laughs> all day, whatever. And like, yeah, nah, nah. but when it comes to throwing hands, I'm like, no, I was kidding. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, yeah, I can't fuck with that. No. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Um. Um. I got in one fight in high school. One, okay. A couple of fights in middle school. Um. But I mean, like I said, man, my mom told me, you know, if somebody hits you and you don't hit back, you are gonna get an ass yeah, when yeah. you come home. You don't want that ass. Nah, I was more scared of my mom than anybody else. Really? Yeah. She's like, I gotta meet her. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Nah, nah. Because my, my mom was kind of scary too, but she's from Brooklyn, so it's different. Nah, I, I mean, yeah. I, I guess you know, being the only son, I wanted uh, to make sure that I, I respect my mama and you know, yeah. abide she, by. She her wanted way. to make sure you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what it was. That's why she was whooping that ass. <laughs> No, um, uh, you, you, okay, so but you, okay, so for the boxing, um, go ahead and continue. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, go no, ahead. um, you, like I said, man, I did it for a long time, yeah, and, and it got kind of to a point where you know, uh, some personal things happened, you know, okay, could have lost my family, you know, um, yeah. and uh, I was, was it these bitches? It was these bitches. <laughs> yeah, these hoes don't. It yeah, was, it was just you know, uh. I don't know, man. It just got to a point where, you know, God gives you opportunities, you know, and if that's what you, you know, he, he, he shows you, you know, he gives it to you. And if right. this is really what you want, you know, you're going to have to sacrifice for it. Okay. And I mean, I just felt like I was going to sacrifice a little too much, you know, mm. and, and I love my family too much to be okay. able to do that. So was when you say that, was it like, I guess, travel wise or was, man, it, it, was, was it, these, it was these bitches? It was nah, these bitches. it was just, okay. you know, grinding, <laughs> you know, just yeah. grinding hard, you know, and then it just... I mean, I, I woke I woke up at five in the morning. Yeah. Um, went and worked out. You know, ran three miles. Did my workout. Come oh. home, take a shower, get ready for work. I see. Get off of work. Go yeah. to the gym. Um, work out for another two hours. Come home, eat barely eat. Basically, you yeah. gotta eat. You know, like right. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and then I'm like frustrated. You know, because I'm I'm hungry. Yeah. It, it's oh, just, and then you can't have sex, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, 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 we're gonna talk about that too because yeah. I had my last guest on here, and um, when you guys are doing events like that, you can't have sex. Nah, nah, because I mean, a lot of people say it takes away from your legs, you know, stamina. Yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> I guess I mean it I, takes away from my legs. <laughs> I've, I've, I mean, I don't know. My coach would get mad at me sometimes. I come to the gym, you're like. What you do last night? Because you ain't seeming just yourself. I'm like, man, chill. Ooh, mind coach. your business. Yeah, I know, right? Coach. Were you trying to watch? Damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then I'm sure Precious, if she's an ass kicker like she said you were, like, no, nah, you better come over here and get this shit. What the fuck? Sex. I don't give a fuck about no damn fight. You better come over here and fuck me. Okay. <laughs> Kick your fucking ass. I'm trying to make another baby. <laughs> no, so, I mean, was that like a, I, I, I kind of want to d- dive into that a little bit. Okay. You've heard of the term cockstrong? Yeah, I talked to this about Armando. I talked with this about with it with Armando Villarreal. It's the shots. We took a shot during the break, but um, I talked about it with Armando Villarreal, and he was, um, you know, explaining to me what cock strong was and how you can't have sex because like like releases your what endorphins or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
it uh I guess it it relaxes you. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, that's you that's know that's it relaxes that's you, and then I guess you have to st- basically start out over. Like you're you're already at your, your you know your peak, and then yeah. you know you let all that out, and it's just like. You just feel drained, and it's like, yeah. dang, I gotta work myself back but up. Doesn't it know? feel good? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm gonna have some sex tonight. <laughs> no, you know, it's, it's so crazy. Like, yeah, he was talking about how he had to, like, I guess they were saying um, maybe like you could do it twice or something. I, I don't know. I don't remember it was um, last week, but man, you know, um, it wasn't really no pro- that that really wasn't a problem for me, you know, because. Uh, we fist to lose this fight because it's a problem nah. for me. <laughs> it, it wasn't really a problem for me or, yeah. or Precious because we we seen we both understood what we wanted, you know, or okay. what she wanted to see me accomplish, you know. Okay. And uh, but like I said, man, that frustration and you know, like I said, you get big headed, you know. Uh, I, I mean, because oh, I, I was I yeah. was getting a lot of support, you know, and yes. for people I didn't even know, and right. I was just like, yeah, I'm the man, I'm the man, but. Yeah. In actuality, man, you was a boy, you know. I was right. still a boy, and right. I had to learn, you know. Um, Let me tell you, I was I was friends with a professional boxer as well, um, and he was like that too. He he was very talented. I'll, I'll always give him that. We don't speak anymore, but um, he he was like that, like on some Mayweather shit. That's what I call it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'll never lose a fight. I'll never. Lose. He lost one fight and quit. Yeah. He, and I and I was like, I was so disappointed in him for that because like you really do have some good. T- like sometimes you just gotta take the L in life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, what sure, I mean? Yeah. you're not gonna always reach the top, and so. Um, and then it's these bitches too. <laughs> it is these bitches. I don't care what nobody says. Yeah. It was these bitches. <laughs> um, man, just you know, I learned a lot from boxing. You know, a lot okay. of discipline, a lot of responsibility, humility. I guess uh, humility, especially. Yeah. I mean, I've been knocked down in, my, in in two of my fights, and it was the first time ever being knocked down. You know, and, I bet that hurts too. Nah, you really yeah. don't feel it. I mean, I got up, and it was like, man, what just happened? I can't believe he did that because he yeah. wasn't. It didn't feel like it hit hard, but yeah. I mean, I guess he caught me on the right on the button. You know what's so cute? So I was stalking your Facebook so I can, you know, ask you questions. <laughs> and I was looking at all your family pictures, and you guys are all happy. And, you know, oh, look, we're at the park or we're at the yeah. lake or whatever. And, like, black eye. You know, oh, what, I yeah. mean? You know what I mean? Like, bruised. I, and, like, I was like, what the fuck? But, but those, then that's from your fights. Yeah, those, okay. Those are, those those are, are war, wounds. war wounds. Oh, yeah. my God. Can I just give a big shout out to this girl uh, from Waco? And I hope that she watches this. Her name is Chastity Standifer. And she, I always said that she would be the head of my security. Um, she's from like East Waco or something, uh-huh. but she's fucking tough. She's like this big, but she'll fight any fucking buddy. And yeah. she made a video one time in Chastity. If you're watching this, she's gonna like totally make fun of me. <laughs> but she got on there. I guess she got almost tried to get jump or whatever, and then she beat the brakes out of both those bitches. <laughs> and she went on fucking live, and it was the best thing. I watch it to this day on my TV. On my TV with like fucking potato chips. Yeah. And she's just like, <laughs> man, these hoes tried to fucking jump me. They didn't know I'm fucking cock strong. That's what she fucking said. <laughs> and she goes, uh, ain't a stain on me. That was the best. Best fucking thing ever. <laughs> I was like, yo, I texted her and I said, when I become like a big giant thing or whatever, you're the head of my security. Yeah. And it's funny because she's like five feet tall. You know what I mean? <laughs> you but gotta she, watch out for the little ones, man. Fr- yeah, yeah, you, you do because you're ones. short. Um, Armando was short. Chastity is short. <laughs> uh, but let me tell you something ferocious. I'm scared of her too. That's like, you know funny. what I mean? But I told her, she's like, man, you crazy, man. You, crazy. you, know, you know what I mean? And so, a uh, big shout out to Chastity fucking stand up for her. I love her. <laughs> she did. She went on there. She's like, them hoes tried to, I banged them hoes head together like some symbols. I was like, symbols? What, See, I, what'd I, you do? I, I was more of a, you know, calm. I didn't, Okay. I didn't. I didn't look for trouble. I didn't. Try okay. to, I didn't try to fight nobody. You know, outside the ring. But right. but if it came to it, you know, you gotta hold your own. You know, you you're a man. So I don't know. I'd be running. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to be running. No, I don't have time for this. Okay, like I'm, like, I'm very good looking. I mean, you know? n- now now I, you know I'm all about my family. You know, I'm, oh, not, yeah. I'm not worried about. You definitely seem very much like a family man, which I really appreciate. That. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think a lot. It's so. With, like uh, just it, there's a there's a stigma with dudes. You know yeah. what I mean? That they I feel that like if the family falls apart, it's because of them. And yeah, I, I like to see strong men in a family yeah. really holding it down. I feel like man, a man should do everything there for their family. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I'll go to work, babe. If you have to stay home, like if I have to work three jobs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Would you say that that's the kind of dad that you want to oh, be? Oh yeah. Not man, that you want to sure. be, but if you had to be. Yeah. yeah. If, yeah. I, if I had to be for sure, you know. Um, I mean. Like I said, man, me and Press have been together for a long time. How long? How long has it been? I'm, I probably missed that part. Um, almost thirteen years. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Precious is very pretty. I like her hair. Oh Precious yeah, she's like beautiful. Hair. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Um, but uh, you know, there was a time when I had to work two jobs and still, you know, go work out in the morning and in the afternoon. Right. You know, um, so it's 
it's really up to you if you really want it, you know? Um, life is what you make it. Yeah, we talked is, about that. Li yeah. Li life is like a dream, you know? Yeah. You can do anything in your dream. And now you don't have to worry about being cockstrong. Now you can have sex whenever you want. Because <laughs> you're not boxing anymore, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. Hey, uh, well, how about some of your accolades in boxing? Like, did you get, get any awards or anything? Like, oh, did you yeah. ever do Golden Gloves? I did Golden yeah, Gloves. Yeah, man, I've, okay. won, I've won... Um, I've won three times in regionals and then I got second place in state. I lost oh, to wow. the, um, the number one in the nation. Matter of fact, uh, the last time we went, um, last time we went, I think it was in 2013, I had fought three dudes uh, okay. in regionals from the same team and I beat all three of them. Damn. And uh, the coach came up to me and, and my coach Tony and he was like, man, um, I don't know how you did it. He was like, I couldn't, I couldn't tell my fighter which way to fight you, you know, cause one way you was boxing, the other day you was, you know, brawling, and it was just, he was just amazed, I guess, and right. he was like, I'm gonna sign you, uh, and, but me and my coach sat down, we talked about it, it just wasn't the right time. Okay. And then, from there, we went to state, yeah. and then, um, I fought the number one in the nation, and we fought at 141, I, was, I usually fight at 132. Is that weight? Yeah. Yeah, I weigh 141 as well, but yeah. <laughs> okay. But, you know, I fought at 141, and, uh -huh. you know, I was just, you know, you know, saying this uh this prayer or or this verse that I I read in the Bible. You know, right. it was uh go and do not be afraid. Uh, for I will never leave you nor forsake you. And I and I would say that I would re rehearse that over and over. And because right. every dude that I would fight, man, was taller than me. You know? Really? Yeah, it was like one forty one. Like that hey, don't these mean dudes, shit, right? yeah, these yeah. dudes are giants. Like a fucking chastity. But uh, you know, I got <laughs> in there, you know, and I fought the number one in the nation. And um, uh -huh. first round, man, right out the back, I was boxing. I felt like I did good, you know, and then. We got back to the corner, and my coach was like, you know, he's bigger than you, so you know he's finna come out the second round and try to rush you, put right. all his weight on you. Right. And that's what he did, you know, and he got the best of me that night. But it was just a, it was just amazing to be able to see, because people, you know, were coming up to my coach, you know, from, because uh, we fought in Fort Worth, so right. people from Dallas and, um, I think it was uh, Austin and San Antonio was okay. coming to, to watch me fight. You know, like, yeah. hey, this is gonna be a good fight. Yeah. You know, and and it was it that that made me feel good. Like, man, I'm really good at something. Right. You know, and uh, you know, I lost, but I was more I was more the type of a real humble. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, well, I was gonna say like the fact that you even got to fight somebody that was that high yeah. ranking. I mean, that's gotta be yeah. that's gotta say a lot. They don't yeah. just throw anybody in there, yeah. right? I and mean, it, yeah, it was it was it was awesome. It was a good experience, you right? Know? And uh, after that, you know, it kind of started i guess declining you know okay. what i'm saying i i guess i wasn't taking it serious yeah. and then um a dude named david hill okay he was like man i'm very impressed in you you know i like the way you work you know right. um, i'm finna put on this benefit and you come and hit the mitts and maybe somebody uh say hey let's help him you know turn pro right but when you say hit the mitts that's the thing that they go yeah, like yeah, this, yeah. Right? <laughs> so you know um we did that yeah and uh because at first i was like you know i'm done with boxing i mean i wasn't I feel like it was already, you know, like I said, on the on the downside. Okay. And uh, my coach called me one day. He was like, hey, man, did you hear David Hill wants to, you know, put on his benefit or whatever? Right, so right. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I went, I hit the mitts, and I guess they were impressed. Oh. And it was like, okay, well, you know, we'll, we'll help him out. Yeah. So he had got a lot of people who uh, sponsored, so we got into a meeting, you know, and, right. and it was big, you know, a, a big room, you know, big, big table, yeah. chairs, and then... You see all these people come in and, you know, they got, you know, they're in a high, higher class. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, man, this is a real meeting, you know. And we was okay. taking pictures and it was it was Where's just my tie and bring my tie. Right? It, was, it was something <laughs> exciting, you know, yeah. a new experience. And it was like, you know, we're here to help. OK. So I was like, OK, cool. Well, David Hill, he was a, a personal uh, trainer, you know, a strength and conditioning. Right. Where I'm from. Yeah. A lot of people, you know, they rather see you you know, fail than, than uh, from here in Waco, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, yeah. well, well okay. basically where, yes, where I grew just, up yes. at, you know, yes. you know, where I grew up at, I'm and trying, then, I'm trying. And then, oh. <laughs> and, you know, these people are uh, helping me, you know, buying gym clothes, gym shoes, right. personal trainer, the swim coach, you know, they all believed in me, you know, and then I put on that fight, you know, I mean, David put on that fight and, you know, um, everybody came, man, just, all these supporters, man, and yeah. everybody screaming my name in that first fight. I was like, oh, man, this is serious. Okay, I would have been walking. So <laughs> we fought that fight, you know, and, yeah. you know, I got paid, you know, and then. Was it a lot? Well, man, my bonus was the people that who, who who put it on and who believed in me, man. Really? Um, I got a bonus, and I was like, what? I was like, that's crazy. So I took oh, yeah. my family on, on a little vacation. I was like, All man, right. I can get used to this. Yeah. So then. We going to Disney World? Yeah. <laughs> oh, order the shrimp, baby. You good. <laughs> so, so you know, we we had a couple of fights after that. Okay. And, um, you know, 
then we had two losses. Right. And that was kind of devastating. But I guess I, the whole time, man, I never took it really serious, and I right. know I should have, you know. I got you. And, you know, and you made up a really good point that I kind of want to touch base on for a minute that you were saying a lot of people that you that are from where you're from maybe didn't want to see you win or succeed. And um, Adrian Fajardo and I on episode six talked about that. And it's so crazy when you start doing something that starts popping off, you really get to see who's on your corner yeah. and who's not. As I went through that too, yeah. um, working for Power 108 and for here as well. And so, I, you know, it's just really important to make sure that you have the right people behind you that yeah. are going to push you to succeed. And Oh, yeah. I mean, you would agree with that. Oh, yeah. Okay, man. cool. Um, you know, uh, we had our two, we suffered our two losses, you know. Right. And, um, That's okay. me, and, me and my coach, Tony, I mean, he had, you know, personal things going on. Right. And he, he had to go his way. And okay. Then I had Hyman train me. And, um, we had another fight, and you know that fight was. I was in real good shape, you know. Right. It was just that dude had the, the better hand, and that's when I lost here in Waco uh, my second time. And uh -huh. um, that was a real good fight, though. You know, right. I, a lot of people were coming up to me saying they were inspired by that fight or whatever. Oh wow! And I was telling my wife, you know, I was like, man, I'm done. I don't want this no more. You right. know, uh, tired of the black eyes. And yeah, talk man. Strong. Man, <laughs> my, this was this was like the first time my face was all beat up. You know, I had oh, really? stitches. You know, oh, yeah, wow. my nose was broken. I was like, man, yeah, this ain't for me. Okay. My son was crying, and uh, then um, so I was like, you know what, this ain't for me. And I don't know. I talked to this dude named Glenn. He's an, he's an, another one of my coaches, Glenn and uh, Tony Chavez. <laughs> All these shout outs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You shout and, uh, whatever you want. Yeah. So there was like, man, we got a big fight for you, you know? And yeah. I was like, okay, cool. So I started training with him and I told him, I don't want no days off because if I get a day off, I'm going to get lazy. So yeah. we worked through Thanksgiving. You know, I was, I was sacrificing. Through Thanksgiving. Yeah, man. Yeah, but save me some ham. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, man, like I said, man, I'm a big believer in God. So, oh, yeah. God's cool. He's lit. My, my pastor one day told me, you know, if you ever feel like you're overwhelmed, you know, just stop what you're doing and ask what does he want. Yeah. So, I mean, I did that one day while I was in lunch, you know, getting, you know, I guess eating an apple or something. Okay. You know, I couldn't Some eat fucking celery sticks yeah, and I shit. Yeah, I couldn't right? eat nothing big. <laughs> Not and, even no ranch. <laughs> you know, I, was, I, I just took a step back and I because I was telling my wife before that, man, I feel like dropping out this fight. I don't want to yeah. fight no more. You know, I, got you, I don't know why I'm like that, you know. And, right. She was like, no, just, you know, just pray about it. So, I mean, I sat back. I we felt over Disney World again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel overwhelmed. And yeah. um, I just sat back and I was like, well, what do you want, God? And he uh -huh. was like, man, um, he said, there's something amazing that's about to happen, you know. And I was like, what? You know, I, I just, I said, okay. And I, okay. And I turned back on my, my phone. I was watching Netflix for lunch or whatever. Yeah. And then um, my coach called me. He was like, man, I got a big, some big news for you. I was like, what? He was like, man, you might get the fight on, on TV. I was like, what? On TV? He was like, yeah, man, uh, uh, just stay posted. And I was like, man, that's crazy. Yeah. God just told me something was going to happen, you know. And man, I was like, all right. And then later on, he called me. He was like, man, you got the spot. You're going to fight on TV. <gasps> oh. uh, it, it was supposed to be an upcoming prospect in Austin, yeah. you know. And uh, so I was like, okay, cool. So that, that fight, you know, that whole time, and everything was happening in order. Like, right. God just told me you gonna win this fight okay and we on tv and was he right was he right oh yeah he was right okay. man that was the last yeah, fight we, we have to see okay yeah that, <laughs> so, you know it yeah. was the last fight the dude was good man i I, right. I mean i give him props but yeah i mean how can you be a king god you know what I'm saying how can you beat that yeah you're right god is pretty cool i like him yeah <laughs> <laughs> no nah, i mean yeah. but it, it just I had some talks with pastors too, but they've been different. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But, let me shut up. Let me shut up. You got me drinking all this Dixie Runner, okay? Stop. <laughs> but but after that, you know, I told my wife, you know, it's yeah. it's time for something better, you know. Which I got is, you. She was like, "Well, why don't you go to school?" And I was like, "Yeah, you know." And okay. I and I started going to school, and I thought about you know becoming a teacher. And mm -hmm. then you know I talked to this uh this speech teacher, and he was like, "Man, what what are you going for?" And I said, "Teacher." And he was like, "What you want to do?" I said, "I want to work with the youth." Okay. And he was like, "Man." Uh, I think psychology will be good for you. Okay. So that leads me to my next question. That you, so you know you are a psychology major right now. Yeah. Um, you're in college. Yeah. What what are you? Is it Tarleton that you're attending? Yes. Sir. Okay. So um, why why psychology? Like. Um. I don't know, man. It's just interesting to me, really? man. And, and be able to 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 be able to talk to to the youth. You know, um. Right. I, I want to get my. I can't mind. stand listening to people's <laughs> shit, like, unless it's like some good ass shit. But if it's like the president, like, oh god. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I want to go to get my master's, but after I graduate next summer, okay. Um, I'm gonna try to be a juvenile probation officer. Oh. And then um, 
get my master's and my counseling license and try to, uh, you know, be a counselor and open up my own practice. Okay. So did you, I guess, like, being a psychologist, that wasn't, like, something that you just dreamed of being when you were a kid, No, it sure, just, right? yeah. no, it just. Do you think that's something maybe God put in your lap and said, hey, like, yeah. help, these, help these little kids? Like, well, you know, <laughs> people have, you know, their passion and their purpose, yes. you know? Yes, yes. Um, and I feel like I found my purpose, and that's what I'm going after. Uh, so... I've been trying to spend uh, more time at the boxing gym, a uh, GK boxing gym, um, and I've been helping out with the youth, you know, and okay. it's, it's, it's cool, you know, yeah. um, to be able to give back, you know, uh, they, what they say, uh, closed mouth don't get fed, but a clo yeah. what is it, a closed mouth can't feed nobody either. Oh, but I know what an open mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> you, you walked into that one. <laughs> no, uh, one of my my really good friends, Jay Carbajal, who actually like, oh, told yeah, me about you. Oh, yeah, my boy, man. Yeah, he, he boxes a lot, too. Yeah. And, um, I can kick his ass, Jay. <laughs> you know what I mean, no, yeah. Um, okay, so but so you you're really geared towards working with children. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, and now I am. You know, yeah. uh, um, I guess because you know being in in, in the gym, um, a lot of kids saw that you know oh that's Noni, and everybody will point me out like yeah. in the gym. I'm like, yeah, you yeah, know everybody I'm knows me, but you know <laughs> it got to a point to where I start to understand it. Man, these kids are looking at your actions. You right. Know what I'm saying because they're looking up to you. Now they're looking at your actions. Yeah. So, and. uh I don't know. I guess that's just inspiring I, to me. Yeah, I'm like the worst role model for kids. Like I, <laughs> I always tell everybody, keep your kids the fuck away from me. Because like my pot, I'm not watching my mouth. Yeah. Okay? I'm not censoring myself in front of your children. And yeah. I'm going to talk about vaginas and pee all the time. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but that's good that, like, you know, you chose that route. I think that the youth, especially, like, in certain areas of the city, really do need that inspiration. Yeah. And, um, again, Adrian and I talked about that as well. And there, there's, I think there's people that act like they can that they're only going to be products of their environment. Yeah. Which is not always the case. No, no. And so you, you want to change that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Man. So oh, um, yeah. so you said you have about another year and a half in your psychology no, major? No, uh, another year. Oh, another and year. Then, uh, I, I should uh, give him his third. His, yeah, yeah. Okay, his yeah. half. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I should graduate next summer. But okay. at the same time I graduate next summer, my wife graduates with a master's too. So Party? Are we going to have a party? Oh, yeah. We I'm bringing a party. Yeah. No, I'm going to bring Jennifer Rimlinger, my friend. And she's going to make us all cool. drinks with the Di Serona. Yeah, 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 yeah. pizza, fajitas, yeah. <laughs> uh, shrimps. Yeah. I better get invited to that party. I got you. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So you guys will graduate together. Yeah, we should graduate together oh that's gonna be a big um, party but man um i've been trying to get my son in boxing man but he's just more of a soccer player and he oh really yeah let so, him do what he wants yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but how I'm, about your daughters maybe you have one of your daughters oh yeah man yeah. My, my daughters they 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 the fighters is there anything like your mom yeah i was gonna say <laughs> and their aunts and shit you beating up your little son is your son the youngest no nah, he's the oldest oh, he's the oh but uh, he knows how to box too though I show, yeah, I showed him since he yeah. was two, so he know what he's doing. I love. I used to love going to some boxing matches. It's just shirtless ass, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, y'all yeah, need a towel, a little dab. You know what I mean? All right, no need. Well, look, man. I I think that's great. Um, I really, I, I think it's so awesome. Um, again, Jay, you you know of Jay? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. How did you meet Jay? Man, through the boxing gym, man. Okay, okay, so you man. guys work at the oh, same Oh, yeah, box. man. Okay. Uh, George is my boy, man. man Jay, 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 Jay and I have been friends for a long time. Yeah, I love him. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, he's great. Uh. <laughs> He's silly. He get in there. He spoil a little bit. Hit the bags a little yeah. bit. But uh, I guess you know, just knowing George from the gym, man, uh -huh. he, he's a pre pretty cool cat, man. Just you know, he, he's a cool cat. Yeah, yeah. he he he's all right. He can, <laughs> He'll get he, that. he talks he talks real good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, I mean, we see each other at at school sometimes at MCC. Oh yeah. We stop and we talk. You know, and uh, oh, yeah. shout out to Jay, man. Shout out to Jay. Yeah. yeah. He, I will say he was one of the ones that said you should get Noni. Yeah. And then um, it was several other people as well. So when I researched you, I was like, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Especially because I'm not friends with that other boxer guy. Yeah. I would have had him, but you ruined it. What's up? Anyway, because <laughs> I'm a bitch, right? But anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, uh, Noni, why don't you tell us what's next for you before we wrap up here? Um, so what? you're, you're going to graduate with psychology. I'm going to get invited to the party. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I'm, if I, listen, if I, like, sleep with any of your family members, just, <laughs> I might be your uncle. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, nah, uh, what's next for me, man, is, uh, like I said, man, graduate, you know, um, okay. become a juvenile probation officer or uh, get my uh, master's and then get my counseling license and, right you know help you know just, uh, do yeah. do what i can to uh to serve you know well i i think that is absolutely amazing i have to say that meeting you has been the biggest joy um precious i follow her on facebook as well she's gorgeous um, big shout out to all of you guys and your accomplishments, the accolades that you guys are going to be receiving with school, um, the social work and the psychology. I think that's really great. Is there anything else that you want to leave us with today before we wrap up? Um, man, just stay positive and stay blessed. Whatever right. energy you put out is what you're going to get in return. That's right. Yeah. And uh, you would know better than anybody, right? Yeah. That's right. I, like, you got to understand, you know, uh, 
the only way you fail is if you don't try. True facts. Yeah, that's facts. So, no, that's facts. You know what? I was really scared about starting this podcast. Yeah, I remember telling somebody, I was like, "Yeah, I'll probably get like fifty views, seventy views. I'll be all right." Now it's like five hundred. Yeah, I was like, "Oh, great, it's great." You know what I mean? So yeah, no, man. I think I, you know, it's been very interesting getting to know you. I hope that you'll come back for another episode sometime in the future. Oh yeah, maybe you and Precious can come at the same okay. time. Okay, cool. When you guys graduate, yeah. Okay, and then and then we'll get her side of things too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so then we could talk about being cock strong. <laughs> uh, hey, are you active on social media at all for the fans um, or? Man, Not really. Yeah, Facebook. Facebook. Okay, what's your Facebook, Antonio? Antonio Castillo. Antonio Castillo. Well, uh, Noni, thank you for coming on to the public affair. It's been an absolute pleasure getting to know you. Um, I hope that I'm invited to that party. Oh yeah. I mean, I spit a little. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, that was not inappropriate. Um, the Disarono was bomb. We took several shots throughout the show. We just haven't seen. So, <laughs> uh, before we wrap up, guys, I definitely want to give a big shout out to Elite Barbershop on Hewitt Drive. Uh, Sid Rodriguez and Marcus Guerrero are the people that reached out to me for that sponsorship. Uh, Sid cuts my hair too. You see how like cute and handsome I look. Sid. Um, <laughs> Marcus is bomb too. Make sure you guys uh, book a, a hair appointment with them. Um, you can call them on the number of the screen or download the Cut app and you can book your time on there. Um, thank you again, Noni, for coming on to the public affair. Waco, thank you for all your support. Everybody, not even just in Waco because I got family oh, yeah. in New York, Florida, whatever. That, everybody reaching out. Everybody, thank you for your support again. Shout out again to Rogue Media Network. Oh, I have to give one more shout out before we leave. Uh, my girl, Anna and Kevin. Uh, Kevin is the manager at George's and Hewitt. Oh, he yeah. pulled some real big strings for me. And I have to thank him for that. I told him I was going to thank him on the public affairs. So, Kevin, Anna, thank you so much. Love you guys. And I'm headed to George's now. So, uh, Waco, thank you again, everybody, for tuning into The Public Affair. Don't forget to click like and subscribe on the YouTube channel at The Public Affair. Follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at The Public Affair. And always, darling, always keep it between us.